Welcome to Playa del Carmen and Fifth Avenue. In this video, we're gonna tell you everything about Fifth Avenue, where to go, what to see, and everything about it so you can maximize your time here. If you're staying in Playa del Carmen or if you're staying at All Inclusive and you just wanna come in for the evening and explore Playa del Carmen, well, in this video, we're gonna show you the best of everything. And best of all, we're not some video bloggers that have been here a week and just think we know everything about Playa. For about a decade, we've been bringing you information and our website and videos to show you the best of everything you can do here. So this is actually Fifth Avenue right behind me and we have Park Fundadores right here. This is where Playa del Carmen started. So Playa has moved north, so you have about 22 blocks of Fifth Avenue and the streets go two, four, six, eight, and so on, up to about 46th Street. So this is Juarez Avenue where a lot of people arrive by bus or start their tours if you're coming from an all-inclusive a lot of times people will drop you here to start your walking tour of Fifth Avenue. So just a little brief introduction to Fifth Avenue. It parallels the beach, so it's a great place to walk along. And if you wanna go see the beach, it's just a block away. If you come during the day, it's a little more tranquil, but of course you have the sun. And if you come in the morning, a lot of stores don't open until 10. So we really recommend if you wanna walk Fifth Avenue around five, six, and then going into the evening, because there's a lot of street performers and a lot of things to see. So it comes alive. And we'll put a couple videos of what it's like at night. Well, we're actually filming this in the morning because it's a little cooler and it's a little easier to, to film right? since it's not so busy. We're starting right here at Park Fundadores, which is right by the Cazanal Ferry Pier. And we're gonna continue up and we're gonna show you some of the hidden things on Fifth Avenue. And we refer to uh, Fifth Avenue as Lower Fifth Avenue and Upper Fifth Avenue. Concientes or Constitution Avenue is kind of the middle. And it's a little more uh, elegant and nicer on the upper end because Playa has developed north. So the lower end gets a little more cheesy tourism and some of the, the cheap things to buy. And it gets a little nicer as you go up. So we'll talk about restaurants, we'll talk about what to buy here and all those things as we go. So let's get started with Fifth Avenue. So we've come one block, we're on 2nd Street and right here on the corner is Acacao. This is a great local coffee shop. It's cheaper than Starbucks and it imports all their coffee from Mexico, Chiapas, Veracruz and Oaxaca. You can get excellent brownies. They have a massage oil that's made out of chocolate and little things. It's a great place to stop. And on 2nd Street, uh, we're gonna get off 5th Avenue just a little bit to show you two really cool things on this street. There's a old, old restaurant that has a great place for drinks on the beach if you wanna relax a little bit. And there's actually Mayan ruins. So let's go check it out. This is La Terraya. It is one of the oldest bars in Plato Carmen and it's one of our favorite places just to come and have a margarita on the beach. They have these beautiful palm trees and as you see, it's a beautiful day here and it's really affordable. So if you wanna come, just take a break. It's not the fanciest place, but it's a really cool hidden place. We just showed you the uh, Mayan ruins. They put a coffee shop in front and you can't really see it as good, but it's one of the original things here that's been here for like a thousand years. So it's really cool. Now let's go back to Fifth Avenue and continue our tour. So we're at 6th Street and 5th Avenue. This is a store called Ai Wei. It's a Mexican design store and it's one of the few places we actually would shop at because a lot of stuff is really cheesy on this end. They have great t-shirts, jewelry, and it's really good cotton and it lasts really long. I have a couple shirts from here, so be sure to check out this store. So here's a tip for you. You notice there's a hotel right behind me in Lower 5th Avenue. Uh, we really don't like staying here because it's more cheesy and it's just not as nice and the beaches aren't as nice. Uh, if you want to stay at a hotel near Fifth Avenue, we really like near Concientes because it's more the middle or up towards uh, between Concientes and Setien, which is 46th Street. 
that end is a little bit nicer and you have better access to everything. And of course, if you want to stay a little farther off Fifth Avenue, it's still very walkable in the downtown. So that's just one tip for you. For more about where to stay in Playa del Carmen, check out our website and this really handy map that's color coded so you can know what's in each area. Let's talk a little bit about restaurants on Fifth Avenue. If you want to come out and eat, of course, there's so many places to choose from, so where do you go? Well, Lower Fifth Avenue, there's not actually a lot of places we would eat at because they're too cheesy. They're not great representation of really good Mexican cuisine. We will comment on a couple restaurants as we pass by them that are really good. And of course, in our articles on our website, we have multiple articles, where to eat, best seafood, best uh, Mexican food. So you can check those because a lot of things change on Fifth Avenue all the time. So in this video, we are not able to edit it and change it, but we do change our articles so you're up to date. Now, one great tip for you, if they have a restaurant tout out in front with a menu, usually it's not a good restaurant because they want you to get in and that's how they get their clients. If they're a good restaurant, most people hear about it, there are the top rated restaurants and things. Of course, some of the advisor sites, it's not all real. So we like to tell you realistic what restaurants are good here so you can check those out. Like this article on our website of recommended restaurants that we would eat at. Street and as you see there's tequila barrel we're gonna start seeing a little more bars because 12th Street is where all the nightclubs are and it's a place to go out at night tequila barrel is a great place to sit they have uh, gambling in the back and also girls get shots free if they dance in the bar it's a very lively place but there's a lot of bars and we have a whole guide on our website for where all the bars are in Playa Now let's continue on. We're gonna go up towards 12th Street and we'll show you what that's like. Speaking of restaurants, right here on 12th Street, you have Sonora Prime. It is a top rated steak restaurant, really good Mexican food. They have a, another restaurant right here on 5th, which is a little uh, less pricey as this one. And also right here, you have um, Catch Restaurant on the top of this hotel right here. You get amazing views overlooking the Caribbean. There's also a Greek restaurant, which is new. There's also uh, Cantina 20, which has an amazing selection of liquors, all Mexican spirits, mezcals, tequilas. So it's a very Mexican place to go check out. So that's just a few restaurants right here at 12th Street. And of course, 12th Street is where all the clubs are. So if you come out at night, well, at midnight, they go quite late into the early morning hours. There's Coco Bongo, there's Palazzo. We have a whole guide for clubs and bars on our website, which you can check out. This is Rosalia, it's between 12th and 14th Street. It's been here forever. They sell a lot of traditional clothes. Most of it's from Chiapas, Mexico. They don't haggle. Uh, you can get some great linen clothes, something fresh for the climate here. So it's a great place to check out. You can also check out this article on our website, what to buy in Plato Carmen, and what things are not so good to buy. Right near 14th Street and this is Hacienda Tequila. Now there's a lot of stores like this but we kind of like this one better. You have a great place for photo ops. They have a lot of tequila and mezcals and things and souvenirs. Of course it's not the best place to buy tequila. We're going to show you another place. It's a really good secret place to get the best prices but you can always check it out here. Now we're on uh, about 16th Street right below Concientes. And there's a little street right next to Quinta Alegria Mall, which always has local artists. So if you want to check it out, you can see some local art, maybe purchase something. And here's a tip, every Thursday on Fifth Avenue, there's art on Fifth Avenue. Most of it is on Upper Fifth Avenue between Concientes and about 30th. 
So you can check out photography work, paintings, and maybe get something to take home. They can always roll it up and put it in a tube for you. That's just a little tip for you. Next, let's check out Quinta Alegria. So this is Quinta Alegria. It's one of two large shopping malls right here on Fifth Avenue. The first one is at the very beginning, and this one is right by Concientes. It has a lot of traditional American brand stores, but the thing we like here is La Europea. It's right here on the first floor. It's a liquor store, and it's actually where restaurants buy their liquor. So you know you're getting official prices and really good brands. The thing with all the liquor stores on Fifth Avenue that are selling tequila and things, they sell off brands you've never heard of. So you don't know if it's a cheap tequila or mezcal that just is in a fancy bottle and they triple the price. So we like going here. They have a great selection of uh, tequilas, mezcals, and Mexican spirits, as well as Mexican wines and everything else you can find. Okay, so we've made it halfway. We're at Concientes. You see the other cacao restaurant. If you want coffee, it's a great place. There's a little statue to the Mayan heritage. And we're gonna continue on to Upper Fifth Avenue. Let's go check it out. by 30th Street and this is the other Sonora, not the Sonora Prime, but Sonora Grill. This is the other one. It's a really good place to relax, eat, have some great drinks. They have a drink cart that comes to you. So we recommend this. And also right in front is the other, uh, well, another Acacao, another great place to sit, have a Mayan hot chocolate or a great coffee, or a cold coffee too, because it's sunny 365 days a year practically here and enjoy Fifth Avenue. So we're between 30, around 32nd Street and 5th Avenue. This is Chez Saline. It is a great place for breakfast. They have amazing French pastries and coffee. Uh, it's a great place to have something sweet to eat or come and eat. It's also in our breakfast guide of places to come and eat. So you can check that also on our website. We're at 34th and 5th Avenue. And if you're taking a tour, this is often a place where they have the buses that will come pick you up if you're staying in this area. And for restaurants, there's Ashiote. It is an amazing restaurant that is a fusion of Mexican cuisine and also modern take on it. And we highly recommend that restaurant. It's on our guide for restaurants to eat in Playa. And then we're gonna show you something right on the other side of the street, right here. Also here at 34th and 5th Avenue is this Cuban restaurant. The food is okay, but the really good thing is they have live music and dancing, and it's one of the places on our guide for places to go out and have live music on 5th Avenue. If you want to dance a little bit or hear some salsa music, this is a good place to come. Now we want to give you a few tips about security on Fifth Avenue. Overall, it is extremely safe. For about 10,000 people walking every day, there is very, very little crime. There is hardly any pickpocketing. It's always good in a popular place to keep an eye on things. But here are a few tips for you. Behind me is an ATM machine. Never use the ATMs in any uh, tourist place that are independent like this because they're easily tampered and they can skim your card. It is best to go to a brick and mortar bank. There's a couple just a block up at Fifth Avenue if you want to use the ATM because there's more cameras and they're hard to manipulate the machines. The other thing is a lot of people stay at hotels and you have a bracelet on. Now the salespeople here, they know the color of the bracelets and they have all day to study them. So a lot of times they'll come up to you and say, oh, I'm the waiter from your hotel. Do you recognize me? I'm, it's my day off. Come see my shop. They basically just want you to get you into the shop to try to sell you something. It's, it's a scam, but it's just a kind of a ploy to get you in. So just so you know about it and you can just say, oh yeah, right, and then walk on. A lot of people ask us, which is better, use pesos or dollars? Now 
know, dollars is the most internationally accepted currency and most places will take dollars. Our recommendation, pesos. Why? Because stores can set the exchange rate. It can be 14 to the dollar or 20 to the dollar and you can pay 20% more if you pay in dollars. So it's best if you know about how much you're gonna spend, just exchange it and use it or you can use credit cards. We prefer cash because there's always less risk of your card being skimmed and prices are also not haggling. It is Mexico, but this is not the part where it's uh, more rural and people haggle over prices. Almost every price here is set. And in Mexico, the law is all prices have to be marked in pesos. They don't have to be in other currencies. Uh, restaurants also, and the menu, all taxes are included. The price is the price. And also for restaurants, they cannot add in the tip. So make sure to check that there's not anything added. Sometimes they add tax or the tip, so you don't double tip. That's just a few more tips for you on spending your hard-earned cash here on vacation. So now we've made it to 38th Street and we're actually on 38th. A lot of people miss old Playa as Playa modernizes and gets bigger, but you can still come here and experience the charm. It is a tree-lined street. There's a lot of good restaurants here. There's an oyster house, there's Mexican food, there's grills, there's a great Greek restaurant. There's a great Thai restaurant, and right here on the corner is also a great tostada restaurant. So if you make it this far, or if you start on this end, be sure to check out 38th Street. It's a great place just to stroll and enjoy all the restaurants and the scene. Continuing on 5th Avenue, uh, it pretty much ends here. There's a few more blocks with a few things to check out. Playa is always moving more north, so there'll always be more things as Playa grows. But that's basically 5th Avenue. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, post them below or check out our guides on our website. You can always ask us questions there. We respond to everything so you can come here and have a great vacation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.